You want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. And that's how you grow. Come on, we want to see it. Good, 22. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy. Come on, 23. Come on, 24. One more, David. Who's one more to carry the boats? You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You did it. Yeah. 44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside. But no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a test. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. This is my excuse today. But guess what? You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you, it's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life, prepared for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new 100%. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. So today, I decided to try to PR my long run. So the first half of the run, I'm feeling great. My mind is clear, nothing going on. I think about nothing but my, just my running pace, what I'm doing, my breathing, everything like that. Get to mile 15, I turn around, and the demons start to creep in. That inevitable wall is creeping up on me. When you push so hard, something's about to give, and I start to give. My mind started to break down. I started feeling my legs starting to hurt. I started feeling dehydrated. I started feeling sorry for myself. I started looking around. No one knows I'm fucking out here running. Why don't you go ahead and just stop? Call your girl, have her pick you up. And that's when I feel like a little bitch. And this is when your mind has to fucking change. You gotta start thinking, I'm the greediest motherfucker in the world. Your dehydration? Fuck it. Lick your motherfucking lips. Your fucking legs are all sore. If you got shin splits and stress fractures, no you don't. You got sore fucking legs. Get out of your head and stay hard. Get back to fucking work. It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk. Get off the podcast. Don't be on social media too much. Cut out all the fucking noise. Get back to the fucking mental lab. I know every motherfucker ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. Where most people quit, I just started. There's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. And that's where I gain the advantage. Guess what happens when that alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. to train? Mm. I don't want to be a seal today. I don't want to be whatever today. I'll start tomorrow. And that's the usual pattern of people's lives. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. My name is David Goggins. I created Goggins. Goggins is the guy that can take anything you put in front of you. You wanna break my motherfucking legs? So be it. I want you to think about me knowing that I'm comfortable being very unfucking comfortable. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't wanna do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay man, do you wanna be a bitch today? Do you wanna feel like a little bitch? You wanna walk around all day knowing that you could but you didn't? How many ultra marathons did you run in a row? You got some insane I think number. It was, um, I ran 808 weekends in a row. To stop and think about that, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, 800s means eight 100 mile races. <laughs> eight weekends in a row. A 100 mile race will put you out for fucking six months. Right. You know, when you ran eight of them, eight weekends, it's a, fuck, it's a fucking insane accomplishment. It was nice. You're too busy. Sure, you are.
That's a lie. And who's one more to carry the boats? It was a 24 hour race as a relay team. I was with four friends. And the format of the race is, you know, you run a mile, I run a mile, my other, whatever team runs the most amount of miles right. wins the race. He had no teammates. When I was fat and lazy, people were giving me all this advice. I lost weight, I got in shape, I started studying, I started becoming one of the hardest working people out there. And guess what? They still had shit to say. They had shit to say when I was fat. They had shit to say that I lost weight. People don't want to see you better than them. That's what it comes down to. You make them feel good about themselves when you're fat and lazy. And you make them feel like shit when you come from the depths of hell and you decide to fucking make it. So about four months ago, I had a major leg surgery. I got plates and screws in my leg. That's the edema that's in it. These are my fingers. So a lot of you know I like to run. That got taken away from me for a few months. But who cares? Life will not always be 70 and sunny. Life is the ultimate competitor. It's relentless. It will continue to attack you when you least expect it. We must learn to adapt and overcome to any and all obstacles that are in front of us. We have to evolve. And the way I evolved was I changed my diet, had to start doing a lot more cross training. When the obstacle gets in front of you, don't let it stop you. Don't let it deter you. Now you get around that motherfucker. When I was fat and lazy, people were giving me all this advice, trying to help me out. I lost weight, I got in shape, and guess what? They still had shit to say. They had shit to say when I was fat, they had shit to say that I lost weight. People don't want to see you better than them. You make them feel good about themselves when you're fat and lazy. You make them feel like shit when you come from the depths of hell and you decide to fucking make it. Stay hard.